What's up, everybody? Coach Brian Champ here. It is Saturday. So today we're going to do a core cardio workout. A lot. Actually, it's, it's kind of a total body core day, though. So uh, we're, we got some lunges thrown in here, some single leg deadlifts, and some squat, squats. Uh, but we, um, we're not really focusing on strength today. We're focusing on uh, those movements with some added rotation or something a little different. Okay, so yesterday we had a strength day, so we're gonna recover from yesterday. And just you know, have a good weekend workout. All right, sound good? Yeah. All right, let's get it going. So let's um, let's start with some cat cows today. Okay, let's start with some cat cows. Come on down to the uh, ground here on all fours, and let's just loosen up the spine. Push into the ground, inhale, look up. Exhale, round your back, tuck your chin. Inhale, deep breath in. Arms are straight here, really push into the ground. Look up, inhaling at this point. And on the exhale, which is now, round the back. Inhale, deep breath in. Couple more. Look up, extend your head, extend your hips back. Exhale, blow out through the mouth, shrink that waist, draw that belly in. Two more, inhale. Exhale, blow out. Getting ready, everybody. Last one, inhale. Exhale, blow out. All righty, let's add a little rotational pattern. Let's take your left arm and bring it up and rotate. Look at that hand, keep your hand low. Inhale down, throw your chest out, shoulders back. Exhale up, other side. Notice what I'm doing with my thumb. I'm turning it towards the midline of my body. Inhale down, uh, it's called external rotation. Thumb, thumb, thumb leads, but I'm really working these guys, right? You feel that? Yep, okay, inhale down. Exhale up. If we rotate from the torso instead of the arm, we can go a lot farther. Rotate from the torso. Really try to open that up and then bring the arm through, okay? So the arm is second. Torso and then arm. All right, great. So now let's do a um, kind of a physical therapy exercise. We're going to push into the ground, corkscrew the elbows, right arm up, thumb up, left leg back, okay? Inhale, down, exhale. So it's opposite arm, opposite leg. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, down, exhale, draw that belly in. And now let's have the pelvic floor. Inhale, exhale. The pelvic floor is a drawing in of the belly, engagement of the bladder and the sphincter all at the same time. Inhale, let it all go. Exhale, blow out through the mouth. Engage your bladder and the sphincter muscles. Keep going, everybody. Your pace, inhale down, exhale up. Keep going. I wanna hear you blowing out through your mouth from here. Inhale, blow out. When you blow out through the mouth, you can gauge your core better. And when you're in relaxed state and you wanna relax more, like you're hanging out on the couch or just trying to chill out. Breathe in and out through the nose. Keep going, but right now, let's exhale through the mouth. Come on, inhale. Let's go a little faster, come on. 15 seconds, a little bit faster. Come on now. Susan is joining us here. What's going on, Susan? Scaring me behind me. Keep going, let's go seven, six, five, four. Keep your chest up, it wants to collapse. Three, two, one, and relax. How about a child's pose? Shoulders may feel a little bit fatigued from that. Reach forward. Ah, we're gonna do eight exercises today, everybody. Eight exercises. Four sets, four sets. Let's go ahead and reach over to your right to stretch out that left side. Big weekend ahead, big weekend. Let's get our workout in and have some fun for the rest of the day. Switch sides. Other side, ah, oh, good. Let's go ahead and reach. 
Uh, let's just do one more time on the other side. Reach to the right, stretch out the left, sit back with your butt to the heels, and switch it up to the other side. <sighs> All righty, how about some downward dogs? Downward dogs. What do you think, Patricia? Yeah, you're feeling downward dogs? Okay. All right. Let's go for it. All right. So hands under the shoulders, push into the ground, corkscrew the elbows, knees under the hips. Let's go ahead and just take your heels straight back. And let's do the pawing dog. I just kind of move my kettlebell there. Let's go ahead and just do a pawing dog. Relax one and then the other, right and left. I can move my kettlebell so you can see here. And let's keep those arms straight and head relaxed. Imagine someone's grabbing your hips up. So your legs are relatively straight. Your arms are straight. Your head is relaxed. Let your jaw relax. Remember our word of the week is happiness. Happiness. Breathe, okay, inhale, let's do both knees down. Right back up with both heels. Inhale, double downward dog, or the normal downward dog. Inhale, exhale, two more, and relax. Okay, take that right leg through. Right leg through. We're gonna go kneeling hip stretch. We're gonna get ready for some back lunges. Let's go ahead and um, we're gonna just reach forwards. Inhale, exhale. Let's add a row to that. Inhale, reach, exhale, row. So we're getting those hips ready at the same time, just kind of getting those arms ready. We're gonna add a row if you can today. Okay, we're gonna do a uh, single leg deadlift with a row. If you have an opportunity to uh, hook up or anchor a band to something, that would be great. If you don't have that uh, space, we'll use dumbbells. Okay, other side. Okay, tuck your hip under. Let's go ahead and shift and pull. Shift and pull. Remember, always good to do pulling movements because we're engaging and strengthening those posture muscles. Reach and pull, come on. <sighs> Breathe. All righty, we're gonna, those are coming to play later. Let's go on your back real quick. This is gonna be our modification uh, for deadlifts today. If anybody has any back issues, do a bridge instead. So let's do a couple bridges. This is a warm up, but if you have any back issues, do this instead of the single leg deadlift. All right, we're gonna go up and down. Hey, Brian, up. you are yes. not on the stage. What? You are not on the main stage. I'm not on the main page. Main stage. Uh, I think that's you, but let me check. I uh, should be. I see everybody else also. Yeah, no, I'm on speaker view. Um, it should be your end on that one. Tell me if I'm wrong, somebody else, but I'm pretty sure it's good. Linda, yes? Anybody else? Yeah, you're good. I okay. You have to go, go up in the right-hand corner and see if you see something that says um, yes. gallery view and click off of that. Yeah, just change that view up at the top, Rishma. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up. So, option for again that uh, modification for the deadlift is let's let's even try a single leg deadlift here. Sorry, single leg bridge. Let's do a couple reps. Down and up. Yeah, drop the butt and up. Down and up. Okay, other side. Couple reps. Inhale down. Exhale up. Perfect. All right. So we'll remember that one later. Okay. Let's also. While we're on our back, do a, do a combo crunch. So grab your right leg, okay? Actually, I'm sorry, Let's, we're gonna do that a little different. I'm gonna get rid of this step here. Ah, okay. So legs are extended. We're gonna go ahead and take your arms overhead. This is called the combo crunch. We're gonna relax here, lengthen spine. Notice what happens when you lie on your back. Typically, your arch, your back is gonna arch. So imprint that right now. Okay, belly drawn in. We're gonna inhale here, and then we're gonna exhale and come up and grab the foot. Inhale down, relax, but imprint that spine. Exhale up. This is the combo crunch, okay? Now you know what that is. That was, that's gonna be number seven today. Number eight is the butt pincher. Okay, come on down on your stomach. 
And I'm going in a weird order here. Just because we're on the ground, I want to get those out of the way. Let's try to take your feet and bring them together, okay? I know this is not easy for a lot of folks out there. If you have tight hips, this is a rough one. Let's go and just bring it up and down a few times. Keeping the belly drawn in. That's it. And now if possible, I want you to keep those hips up the whole time for our workout and go out and in. Yes, this is a lot easier if you have a stability ball. All right, stability ball. All right, that is our butt pincher today. Okay, what else do we got? Everything else is actually one, two more things on your, on your, uh, on the ground. Sideline groin. I'm going to use a step. You don't need one. So let's go on your side. I'm on my uh, left side. So I'm on my left elbow. I'm going to take my top leg and I'm going to put it on something. Okay, right here. So side plank, but that top leg is getting a lot of work in, especially when I remove the bottom. All right, you see what I did there? To make it easier, I put the leg on the ground. To make it harder, I put that foot on the, uh, on the top leg. To make it even harder here. Okay, anything we can do there. So other side. Okay, so I'm taking that top leg, putting it on something. High hips, shoulders are back. To make it harder, bottom leg goes on the top. And pull those shoulders back. You could also bring the hand off the hip, and that's all good. Okay, so that is our side plank. Let's do one more thing on the ground. We're gonna go plank up downs. You're gonna start on your elbows right here. We're gonna go right hand, left hand, right elbow, left elbow, okay? So let's start kneeling together. Belly drawn in, chest is up, right low hand, left low hand, right elbow, left elbow. So think low hands, low hand, elbow, elbow. Let's do a couple. Your pace, try not to rock. Try not to rock. Other side, left elbow, right elbow, left hand, right hand. And again, emphasize the low hands. My hands are going lower than my chest which makes it easier on the shoulders. Okay, that's our plank up downs, big tricep movement. We actually did some uh, pretty good amount of arms yesterday, so you should feel that uh, a little bit from yesterday as well. Okay, let's stand it up. Okay, so if you have some dumbbells, kettlebells, we're gonna need them. So let's just go through the mechanics right now. This is gonna be exercise three. I'm starting with the weight at my groin. My forearms are connected to my torso. Hey, I like that kettlebell, Patricia. So cute. All right, <laughs> toes are out. <laughs> I want to keep your belly in the whole time. Yes, Rishma knows these. I'm going to stick my booty out, and I'm going to drive it up. Booty out, drive it up. And it's a relatively quick movement, okay? Um, if you want to uh, modify this exercise, how about those bridges that we talked about earlier, okay? So it's just, a, it's just a hinge, not a squat. Keep your belly in and keep your forearms connected to your body. I don't do these very often, so be careful. You guys, I'm watching a couple of you right now, great. If, if you have a light weight and you don't have anything heavy, you can just do it with one arm. And we'll go with 20 seconds on each side, okay? So Susan, I'm gonna give, Susan's here working out with me today, but she's hiding. I'm gonna give Susan a, uh, pink kettlebell because it matches her her eyes. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> All right. Backwards lunges. I'm jumping around here. Backwards lunges number four. So feet about hip width, left leg back, and we're going to rotate over the front knee. Rotate. So it's an inhale and an exhale. Okay. Other side. I am rotating over the front knee. Inhale, eyes straight ahead. Inhale, exhale. Okay, we got that. Two more things, single leg deadlift. Feet together, left leg bends. Okay, and we're gonna go forward and row. So for this guy, if you have any back issues, you just don't wanna do it, you can think about a single leg deadlift. I'm sorry, a single leg bridge. Okay, other side. If you have something to pull here, that'll be great. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. You got it. Okay, and the last thing. 
So I have a very valuable stick here. This used to be a Swiffer about five, ten minutes ago. Let's go ahead and take a stick overhead. I warned some of you that came in. Some kind of stick, some kind of towel. Uh, Susan, you can use the long foam roll right there. Okay, let's just go ahead and loosen up some shoulders here. So how do you do this, by the way? You got to go pretty wide. Yes, a band, Carla. Thank you. Yes, good. So a band works pretty well, too. So you got to have a pretty wide stick there. So notice my arms are straight. So if, if your stick is too small, that'll be trouble. Yes. So if your foam roll is too small, it's fine. It's fine. I was just trying to give you guys a mobility exercise. This is a really good one for shoulders. If you want to make it harder, you can bring your hands close, but wider works. And now that's just something I wanted to throw out there. Let's do a squat with this. So my arms are over my head. Imagine you're, you're holding about a hundred pounds. I'm going to hinge and come up. Okay. Try to keep your arms straight. Inhale down, exhale up. That is our movement, okay? And again, if that's, you know, you don't have the stick, no problem. Just do an arm raise with the squat, okay? That's all we're doing. All right, that's it, everybody. Let's get this party started. Let's have some fun. We are gonna do four rounds, no rest. So I took a little longer on the warm up, but, uh, yes, yeah, so we're gonna do a little longer on the warm up, but we are gonna go right into things that's good yeah. okay so timers coming let's get into the plank up down position here ready 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 all right hold on one second we got 10 second prep before we go all right come on now we got five four three two one let's go right hand left hand right elbow left elbow just like that on your knees to make it easier belly drawn in however you're doing it keep your belly in and your butt tight come on now let's go wider knees more balance halfway, halfway. other side lead with the other hand other elbow come on now these are actually uh Kind of challenging on the heart rate as well. Keep going, team. You got this, you got this. Rest and plank as needed. Three, two, one, okay. Sideline groin. Take uh, your foot, your top foot, put it on something, if possible. Chest is up. You can do this, this is totally fine. If possible, bring your, your bottom leg on the top. Shoulders are back. Ah, just hanging out. My uh, right foot, I'm on the inner part of my right foot. Squeeze your shoulder blades. Three, two, one, other side. Here we go. Top leg on the step. Shoulders back and down. Eyes straight ahead. With my hand, I'm putting it on the hip. And I'm pulling those shoulders back. Inside part of the foot. Get ready for swings in three two one stand it up all right let's find something to swing with feet are shoulder width toes are out i'm locked in i'm starting here and i'm hinging eyes straight ahead explode explode okay let's keep the belly in everybody okay so this weight's a little bit light for me so i'm just gonna let one go do not throw the weight there you go let me see those eyes carla Eyes, chest up. Okay, other side. So my collarbones. I want to throw those collarbones up. If my collarbones are up, my, my eyes are going to be towards you. Squeeze your glutes at the top. Squeeze. Yes, looks good. Give me three, two, one. Carefully put that down. Back lunges with a rotation. Okay. We're just gonna do one side at a time, rotating over the front knee. Do you need a weight? No. If you have one, sure. But if you're falling, no weights are necessary, okay? Inhale, step. Exhale, up. Nice, other side. 
Here we go. I'm rotating over the front knee. So it's kind of like an anti-rotation. Uh, We're rotating, it's called a stability exercise. We're trying not to move too much. Give me three, two, one time, okay. We're gonna go single leg deadlift with a row. So I have my band set up here. All right, single leg deadlift with a row, go. Again, if you don't have bands, no worries. Just use what you got. Whoa, got a little too much tension there. Inhale, row. I should have this in a lower anchor point. I'll set that up next time. Inhale, halfway. exhale, halfway. Feet are together, bend the knee, row. Inhale, on the pull, exhale forward. <sighs> Inhale, exhale. Keep going, everybody. Give me three seconds more. Two, one, the overhead squats. The overhead squats. Let's grab your stick, your band, your towel. And uh, yeah, Susan, grab that. Here we go. So I'm gonna use a band. Carla inspired me. Pull. Here we go. So I'm not really doing anything with it. It actually just allows me to open up my arms. Inhale, exhale. Yes, these are called overhead squats. Toes are out, feet are shoulder width. Hi, McLean. Inhale, exhale. Imagine you are holding 100 pounds overhead. Your arms are straight. Let's get low. Notice my back, it's flat. I'm hinging. There we go. That's McLean. She's made it to big time. Okay, combo crunch. On your back. On your back. We've made it to the back. Here we go. Okay, remember, imprint the spine. Arms overhead. Grab your foot. Inhale. Exhale. We're alternating. Remember, that back wants to arch. Don't let it. Inhale. Got to breathe. Keep going, everybody. Checking the belly. Is it doming? If it is, make sure we keep it in. Come on now. We got 10 seconds. Go at your pace. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. This is exercise number seven. Three, two, two and time. Okay, butt pinchers on your stomach as we show, as I showed earlier, or on the ball. If you have trouble with your hip mobility, this is a really great way to do it. Much easier to get your legs up because you have a little more clearance. All right, belly drawn in. I'm pushing into the ground to keep that nice, tall, lengthened spine. Spread your fingers. Squeeze. Keep it going, everybody. We're halfway there. And then we're going to be going right into round two with no rest. I'll pop in the heart rate monitors a little bit more on the next round. Open and close. Try to keep those feet together. The soles of the feet, come on. Keep going. We got three, two, and time. Good job, one down. Plank up downs. Are you ready? No rest today, guys, here we go. Right into it, go. Hand, hand, elbow, elbow. What do you think, Patricia? We're going after it today. Let's go. I want to check your heart rates on this one. Get water as needed. Yes. Nice. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got three seconds. Halfway. Halfway. Yes. You got it. Everybody switch to that halfway point, right? Yes. Yes. Smile. Life is good, everybody. Life is good. Five. Four, you're getting better right now. You're getting better. Hollywood, three, two, one. You can see that brings your heart rate up. Okay, let's go. Sideline groin. This is not going to bring your heart rate up, but it's a good exercise for the uh, torso. Top leg on something. Here we go. So notice my foot on the step. That's not how I want you to be. I want you to be on the inner part of your foot. Keep going. Give me five, four, three, two, 
One other side. Here we go. Inner part of the foot, check. Shoulders back, check. Eyes straight ahead. Good job, breathing, breathing. While we're here, think of one thing that you're grateful for. These isometric exercises. Your, your mind starts going. Time, okay. Y'all think of some? Swings. Let's do it. Swing it out. What do I want to use right now? Okay, I'm going to go blue. Let's stand it up. Okay, forearms are connected right here to start right here. I'm going to try to keep it connected most of the time until the final ending. Okay. <laughs> My arms are not going to go fully extended here, okay? Right. Keep it locked. That's how you save your back with this movement. Inhale, notice I'm still connected. Exhale, pop, pop. Do not extend those arms fully. You will save your back. Kettlebell swings, or swings in general, are very challenging on the back because we tend to do this. Okay, puts a lot of stress. All right, next, what do we got? Single, oh, back lunges, back lunges, here we go. Back lunges with the rotation. Here we go. Rotating over the front knee. Inhale, exhale. Eyes straight ahead on me. Inhale, exhale. You got it? Yes. Let's check you out. Heart rates. Heart rate check. Hollywood is in the orange. She's working. Halfway. Halfway, yes. So we've got a few movements today that are going to get your heart rate up. Plank up, downs, back lunges. And uh, maybe the overhead squats. You go pretty fast. Okay. We got four, three, two, time. Okay, next. Single leg deadlifts with the row. So I'm going to go low anchor point. It's a better angle. Okay. Feet together. Again, okay, you can grab some dumbbells, light dumbbells. Inhale, exhale, or don't grab anything at all. Remember the single leg bridge as well for a modification here. Chest is up. Give me one more. Halfway. Squeeze other side. Stay tall. Inhale. Whoa. Exhale. Up. Nice. Row. Inhale. Row. Low hands. These are on the neck and shoulders. Nice. Come on, Carla. Three, two, one. Time. Okay, let's go to the overhead squats. I'm gonna use my band. Okay, think of the band, the harder this is. Wide hands, notice my hand position here. Toes are out. Inhale, exhale, eyes straight ahead. Again, I said you could get those heart rates up, right? You could do that by just going a lot faster. And again, if that's just problems for your shoulder, your back, bring your arms up. Keep going, inhale, exhale. Let's get after it, 15 seconds. Then we got those combo crunches. Come on, come on Cindy out there. You got this. Here's where we are. Give me a little bit more. Five, four, three, two, time on your back. Combo crunch. Here we go. Got about seven, oh, we got five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Here we go, inhale down. Exhale up. Remember this one. Imprint the spine. Draw the belly in. If you're feeling any doming of your belly, do this instead. Heel taps. Heel taps. Especially ladies who've had babies. It's kind of a common problem. That belly starts doming. And those sit-up type movements are not helpful. Keep going. Even if you have back pain, I'd rather you do the heel tap. Keep going. Imprint that spine if you're not. Come on, we got a few seconds left. Three, two, one. The butt pincher on your stomach or get the ball. Who's got a ball? I know Linda's got one over there. Okay. All right, let's try to touch those soles of the feet together. Belly drawn in. Let's go up. Squeeze. Out and in. If you can hold it up the whole time, go for it. There we go. If you need to, just rest and repeat. All right, this is a good one for the back side. 
This is uh, how the Kardashians became famous. They, uh, they did this every day, multiple times a day. What do you think, Patricia? Is that a goal? <laughs> the revenge body. Keep going. Squeeze. Come on. Squeeze. Four, three, two, one time. Okay, that's it for round two. But let's go into plank up down to round three. So don't, don't go anywhere. We're going right back down, Rishma. Okay, here we go. Let's do it. It's a no rest Saturday. Elbow, elbow, hand, hand. Yes. Belly in. Wider feet. To make it easier, go on the knees. Yes. Up, up, down, down. Other side. Other side is the leader now. Keeping your chest lengthened by pulling your shoulders back and down. You got this. We're, almost, we're halfway there now. Halfway. This is our third round of four. Three, two, one. All right, sideline groin. Easy one. Kind of, kind of easy for the heart rate anyway. Okay, top leg on an elevated surface. High hips. This is okay, but come on, can we make it a little bit harder? Put the bottom leg on top of the top. Yes. Shoulders back. Come on, everybody, come on. Give me five, four, keep those hips up. They want to drop. Three, two, one, other side. You get to see my backside. Come on, Hollywood, let's go, let's go. Shoulders back. Let's get after it. Remember, remember that thing we thought about earlier? Something you're grateful for. How about another thing? What else are you grateful for? Ah, breathe. And time. Sideline groin complete. Let's go to those standing swings. Let's go. So even though the bell's going off, get grounded, get your feet connected, chest is up. Connect, swing, swing. I am not extending my arms again. Remember, easy on the back. Belly drawn in. Oh, chest height is fine, not shoulder height. Yes, it's too light for you. I think Linda can do a little more, maybe. One side. You can alternate sides. It's really the butt that is doing majority of the work here. Keep those forearms connected. Time. Awesome. Those do get your heart rate up as well. Forgot about that. Okay. Backwards lunges. Back lunges. My heart rate is rise. I'm going to throw the monitor on real quick. So you guys can see where you are. Let's go, let's go. Back lunge. Come on now, yes. Linda's up. That's another good variation for you, Linda. Think about those swings more often. Halfway. Halfway. Eyes straight ahead. Inhale, step, exhale up. Inhale back. Exhale all the way up. Don't cheat yourself, come all the way up. Squeeze your glutes. Keep going, we got five, four, three, two, one. Single leg deadlift with the row. Row. Heart rates are rising. Heart rates are rising. Okay, let's go. Stay tall, stay lengthened. Feet together. Bend a knee, drive it up. Again, eyes straight ahead. Inhale, exhale. I forgot to add the row myself. Keep going. Row. Whoa, other side. Okay. Ah, oh, good. Inhale. Exhale. Balance, everybody. I don't need to hinge too far. But come up and squeeze glutes. Inhale. Exhale. Three, two, time. Okay. Awesome. Overhead squats. Overhead squats. Actually, I'm going to take a little thicker band. Make it a little harder. Here we go. Open these guys up. Tension. Creating tension. Arms straight. Inhale. Exhale. Go as far down as you can comfortably. Many of you can get down a lot farther than me. Go for it. Inhale. 
Exhale. Halfway. I side view. Halfway. Keep those arms straight. They want to go forward if your lats are tight. Those muscles around your armpits, those are the lats. Those are your swimming muscles. Those get tight. That affects your neck health, your back health. So right now you may have, you may be struggling those, with those arms wanting to go forward. Okay? Great. Combo crunch on your back. Third inning, right? Third one, Susan? Right, okay, we're almost done with it. Here we go, on your back. Go. This is like a tie bow standing crunch if you want to modify. Okay, enough of that. Keep going. Breathe. Remember, breathing as you come up. Breathe as you come up. Inhale down, exhale, blow out through the mouth. Keeping the belly in and that imprint. Heel tapping, right? To modify. Check that belly every once in a while. Is it in the whole time? Five seconds. Four. You could do a double tap as well. Three, two, one. Final movement of this round. Let's get after that butt blaster. It's the butt blaster. All right, here we go. I'm going ball. Squeeze the glutes. Draw the belly in wherever you are. Let's really try to squeeze the knees together. It makes a difference. Squeeze. Inhale. Squeeze. Gotta keep those hips up now, kid. Here we go. Ha. Ah. Keep going, everybody. Push into the ground. Keep that upright position. Come on. We got 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Fourth round, final round, plank up downs. I'm going heart rate monitor on. Let's get in position. Let's get in position, ready. Three, two, one, plank up downs, go. On your elbows. This is it. Let's make it your best. Let's make it your best. 40 seconds of work. You can do anything for 40 seconds, everybody. Come on. Mindset. You can. Let's try to get those knees off the ground. Other side. Elbow, elbow, hand, hand. You got it. Come on. We got 10 seconds. Pick it up. Nine. Eight, remember low hands, seven, six, five, four, three, two, time. Awesome, okay, sideline groin, plank up downs. Who would have known those are a little cardio movement, huh? All right, plank up downs, let's go. Ready, I mean, I mean uh, sideline groin, that's what I was trying to say. Come on, come on, here we go. Real tall, real lengthened. Yes, make it harder. Knee out. How about a leg out? How about an arm up? Halfway. Other side. <clears throat> Remember, you don't have to do these again. Four is enough. Make it a little bit more challenging if you can. Inside of your foot. How high can you keep your hips up? Breathe. Ah, let it go. Three, two, one. Stand it up. Swing time. Swings, let's go. All right, careful. Let's feel those forearms connected. Wide feet, belly in, hinge up. A little bit, just a little bit up. <clears throat> Don't do too much. Remember, it's not a dumbbell forward raise. Just a little swing of the hips. Engage your glutes without hyperextending your spine as well. Right arm, left arm, right arm, left arm. We're almost done. Keeping your shoulder blades pinched. Inhale down, exhale. Five seconds, four, three, two, time. Woo All right, back lunges. Back lunges. Come on now, let's go, let's go. Back to the heart rates. Yes. Back lunge. Finish it up. Your final set of back lunges. Yes, yes, yes. You can alternate legs if you want. 
Probably said that a little too late. Inhale, exhale up. Yes. Come on, everybody. Saturday morning. <sighs> Keep going. Yes. Keep moving. Keep moving. Ah. We got 15 seconds. Sorry about the uh, bell interference. Keep going. We got 10 seconds. Someone just called me. It throws off my timer. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, time. Okay, single leg dead left. All righty. Got those numbers up pretty good, guys. All right, single leg dead left. Here we go, bend and row. All right, Rishma, come on, girl. <laughs> Here we go. What do you think about those swings, guys? Should we do those more often? Keep going. Whew. Row, inhale, row. Halfway. Whoa, halfway. Yeah, low hands, Rishma, low hands. Other side. So my hands on any kind of row, I always want to see my hands right here. Yeah, there you go. Lower than the chest or equal to the chest is easier on the neck. Keep it going. Give me three. Give me two more. One overhead squats. Yeah. All right. Overhead squats number six. Bring it up. Wide feet, toes out. Open those arms. If you have a stick, go wide. Go wider, Carla. Go wider. I wanted those arms straight. Yes. Yes. You should be able to go like this with your stick as well. Don't do it if you have a shoulder problem, though. <laughs> but really good for uh, shoulder mobility, especially before this exercise or before we were to say, we say if we did a shoulder press or some arm stuff. Come on, seven seconds, get low. Inhale down, stick your booty out. Up, three, two, one. We're gonna finish up on your back with the combo crunch and then the butt pinchers. And we all call it a day on your back. Here we go. What's up? What up? Come on, we're moving, we're moving, we're shaking. Grab a foot. Inhale down, exhale up. If you feel your neck, tongue on the roof of the mouth. Easier on the neck, halfway. Combo crunch. If you're feeling a little spicy, as Ray says, how about this? Grab both to finish. Inhale, exhale. Ray's getting married today. Just thought about that. Five seconds, four, keeping the belly imprinted. Come on, for the spine imprinted, time. All right, butt pit, butt blaster. The butt pincher, okay? Come on down, let's finish it up together. Oh, here we go, feet, soles of the feet together. This is it, this is it. If that's too hard for you, modify here. Flutter, it's a slow flutter. This is also gonna open up your hips. Our final one of the day. Keep going, let's finish this. 19 seconds. Whatever you're doing, let's go a little bit faster if you can, but keep that good form. Yes, yes, say 10 seconds. Count with me, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and relax. Ah. Great job, guys, high five right on the ground. High five, Patricia. Right there, yeah, get it, get it. Virtual high five, come on. Give it to me. There you go. All right, I got it. Rishma. All right, good. Let's grab a foot. <laughs> Let's grab a foot, everybody. Knees together. Yes. Let's stay on the stomach. We're going to hang out here on the stomach since we're here. All righty. Yes. So try to bring that heel to the butt. You notice mine not quite going there. My other side does, but this side needs a little bit more work. I need a little more focus stretching on this side. I feel that knee. We don't really want to feel the knee. We want to feel above the knee. Ah, okay, slowly change sides. You can see this side for me. It's no problem. I'm not even going to do that side because it's a waste of my time. So I'm going to stay on my one side the whole time. 
to work on that range of motion. So if you have a tight leg, let's keep stretching the tight guy, okay? Keep going, let's breathe. Inhale, exhale, breathe. Good Saturday, team. Let's grab both feet now, both feet. All right, now let's go ahead and bring your knees up off the ground. I believe, Carla, this is called the bow pose, right? I can't see anything, but <laughs> let's lift up your chest. All right, lift up your thighs. Open up, open up. Push your feet into your hands to open up. Open up the chest. Give me 10 seconds here. Nine, eight, seven. Keep pushing your feet into your hands. Five, four, three, two, one. Slowly come out of that. Nice. Let's go into a child's pose to stretch that out. Reach forward, sit back. Ah. So remember everybody, our word of the week is happiness. Think of something to do this weekend that brings you happiness. Maybe you can't get around to it during the weekend, the week, but the weekend's here. Usually we have less going on, especially now during COVID times. So what can you do to make you, make you happy? I'm hanging out with the family this weekend. That's awesome. Socialization is always a good thing. And we're going to go to the lake. Bringing the dogs. So that is my new happy getting out of nature here where we live. Let's go to butterflies, everybody. Butterflies. So going out in nature often brings people happiness. Definitely does me. Let's try to minimize the time in front of a computer, in front of technology. Get outside and enjoy our beautiful weather. Especially, most of you all live in the Bay Area. Actually, everybody here does on this live stream. So, uh, hot weather is coming next week, guys. Everybody know that? Yes, heat, heat wave is coming back. So, let's uh, overly hydrate and get ready for the, for the heat coming. Remember, uh, if you don't know this, if you're not weighing yourself every day, um, you may not know this, but my coaching clients definitely know this. You better know this. Um, that you need to overly hydrate on hot days. Otherwise, you'll retain water. So remember, you will retain water if you don't drink enough water. You will retain water in your belly, in your calves, and uh, you'll, you'll have trouble losing weight. So again, by, by measuring yourself every day, your weight and your body fat, but specifically looking at total body water, you're going to see that number fluctuate, okay? You'll notice on hot days, it's really, really hard to maintain fluid balance. Let's go ahead and just reach forward. So we need, and, and, and oftentimes water is not even enough. You know, we need electrolytes, minerals, like mineral water, like Pellegrino, for example. I usually have a, one of the small Pellegrinos a day now. And I also take added minerals because right now we're, we're getting rid of minerals and electrolytes when we sweat. And it's even, we do that even more, more when it's hot. We even do it in the middle of the night, right? When you wake up with hot flashes and night sweats. Ah, so get outside, enjoy the weather while, while it's reasonable because next week is going to be brutal, especially Monday from what I hear, especially if you live where I live. All right, everybody. So have a great Saturday. Thank you for joining, guys. You're awesome. Woo uh, you want to see calories? Let's check out the calories. I think we did pretty well. Four sets. Yes, we did. Four sets. Calorie count is... This is uh, going to help you gauge how much you should be eating. Are you ready? All right. Yes. All right. 300 plus calories. Yes. Remember, this is going to go up in 10 minutes. You're going to keep, you're going to probably burn another 75 calories and then another 10 minutes, another 50 calories. So just kind of remember that when I, when we stopped the actual workout, it was probably about 50 to 75 calories lower. So just keep that in mind. Okay. Something to think about. It doesn't end when we stop the workout. Good job team. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll be here.